Yo, what's going on? What's happening, man? So I decided I wanted to do this, you know, in the back of my yard, man. You know what I'm saying? Where you can clearly see the grass, the trees, you know, back this part right here that goes all the way back where there's deers, possums, snakes. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy back there. It's, it's literally the wildlife, you know what I mean? And the reason why I wanted to actually do this video, you know what I'm saying, like um, in the back of my yard, is to show you all that this is the South. Like, this question comes out, it's not even a question. It, it, this statement comes out, comes out all the time. You know, with people saying that North Carolina is not the South. What is it? Can't you hear the crickets chirping and, and all of this noise that's going on in the background? Can't you see the grass? Aren't we under the Mason-Dixon line? Like I hope, for your sake, when people say that North Carolina is not the South, that you're not stating that it's not the South because of the fact that it has North in North Carolina. Like just because the, the state is called North Carolina, that it's not the South. Because that's a weak, uh, uh, a weak reason why you would say North Carolina is not the South. Straight up. Like we don't have trains, we don't have subways, we don't have, I mean, there's a, a, a light rail in Charlotte, that's just in Charlotte. The rest of North Carolina, including the, the so-called other, and I say so-called because they're really not major cities, not like they're, they're big, but you know, the so-called other cities such as Raleigh, Durham, um, uh, uh, Greensboro, uh, Winston-Salem, Fayetteville, they don't have no light rail. They just got a regular bus line. For the most part, North Carolina, the state is rural. And if you're going to get any type of city life, you know, it would be in Charlotte and, and, and even parts of Charlotte is, 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 is country. Straight up. Like, what do you really mean when you say that North Carolina is not the South? I got an aunt. I got two aunts. May they rest in peace. One of them called Aunt Odessa, Aunt Rosina. Both of them had a mustache. They don't get no country than that. When they were alive, we used to go over their house and it wasn't until 1995 that they replaced their wooden stove with an electrical one. I'm talking about when we used to go over there for breakfast, they used to serve, they used to make buttermilk bis biscuits from scratch. These big ass biscuits with thick ass grits and shit. And then after we ate, you know what I'm saying? We ate this big ass you know what I'm saying? Breakfast with, with 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 the bacon that's this thick. We would have some some honeydew melon, watermelon. You know what I'm saying? Some fruit to kind of like rinse everything out. After that, we would go back in in, in in the back porch and just have conversations. They had their little garden out there, their their flowers and all the rest of that stuff. I had an uncle named Uncle Suge. My uncle's uncle names were Uncle Suge, Uncle Robert. I had an aunt Eldria. I had an aunt. Her name was Eldria. Aunt Eldria, we used to call her. She was known for making cakes, like pound cakes. Aunt Eldria, and I had another aunt called Aunt Jellame. It gets no more, no southern than that. North Carolina doesn't practice northern culture. We eat southern food here. Now, true indeed, I'm a vegetarian. But as I was coming up, you know what I'm saying? That, that's what we ate, soul food. And I still, even though I'm a vegetarian, I still miss the, the, the potato salad, the macaroni and cheese, the fried chicken. I'm just trying to understand, what do you mean when you say North Carolina is not the South? Because I can tell you here in Charlotte, we're more Southern than Atlanta is. If you if you really look at it, Atlanta is really the bigger city. With skyscrapers everywhere. 
And that's real. What do you mean that North Carolina is not a southern city, a state? Where did you get that from? I'm trying to understand that. Yes, true indeed. A lot of New Yorkers come here and they live here. A lot of Northerners come here and they live here. But isn't that everywhere? Like the reality of it is, is the South is not even the South anymore. So if you were to say that North Carolina is not the South, you would have to say South Carolina isn't. I'm talking about the, 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 the traditional South. You would have to you would have to include states such as if you want to say that North Carolina is not a southern state, you would have to include South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, Texas. The list goes on. Real talk. Nobody's hardly growing their food anymore. You very rarely find any any independent businesses or small business owners like how you did in the old South where you could live on the block on one block and you had a man, that, a mechanic that fixed your cars up here across the street. You had Betty Sue that made pies further down the street. You had somebody that sold fruits and vegetables. They had their own farm going a little further down. You had a butcher that would cut up your meat. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? You pick a cow from their farm and they'll say, and you'll say, yo, you want it cornered and cut up this way and that way, et cetera. I want to put a damn dog's ass, man. I'm seriously, man. Straight up. I'm so tired of my next door neighbor's dog because he's a punk. He one of them mutt looking motherfuckers. I know, I, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize. But, but, but he's barking and, and, and it's annoying. Anyway, you got. You know what I'm saying? A farmer down there, and you, you know, you pick out your cow, and you say you want the 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 the, uh, the cow cornered and cut up this way and that way. You know, the butcher comes in there, he cleans it, he cuts it up. Uh, excuse me, cleans it, cuts it up, and all of that stuff. I've seen this shit literally with my own eyes. I've seen somebody gut out a possum, no, nah, no, nah, not a possum, a raccoon, and clean it and and and, and cook it. This doesn't happen in the in the New South. The New South is corporate. The New South is a, is an extension of the of the North, or what the of of what the North used to be. Now Northerners are coming down here, and they're changing the culture of what the South is. There's no such thing as no Southern hospitality. People don't greet one another in the South anymore. Like, good morning, ma'am. Good morning, sir. How you doing? How was your day? And trust me, if they're saying that, they really don't give a fuck how your day is. It's just general chit chat. Because if you were to say, I'm, I'm, I'm being real with you, test me if I'm wrong. Test me. One day, when you're in the South, you know, of course, under the Mason-Dixon line, you know what I'm saying? In any Southern state, if somebody says, hey, good morning, how you doing? Test what I just said and say, oh, I'm not doing too good. You know what I'm saying? I got these bills. They're going to be like, oh. I really didn't want to know. Like, they might not tell you that, but they'll tell you with their eyes and their body movements. You know what I'm saying? They'll literally tell you indirectly, you know what I'm saying? Indirectly tell you, I really don't give a damn about how, you, how you're doing. I was just saying it just to be saying it. Just general chit chat. But it used to be a time where people were concerned about one another. In the South. Don't nobody give a damn about nobody in the South anymore. It used to be the time when you used to live in the South and everything was slowed down and people live their lives on a real peaceful like pace. Not nowadays. Not nowadays. Traffic back to back. People trying to get to where they got to go. Getting in mad car accidents and shit. Because everybody's pressed for time. I remember when I was younger, no lie, man, I always wanted to live, you know, well, I mean, I was born in New York and I've lived in New York, but I'm saying I always wanted, when I came down here as, as a youngin, I always wanted to go back to New York and I did, you know what I'm saying? But it, you, I'm going to tell you, every time I went back, I stayed a little while and I would want to, I would, I would get homesick, my second home or first home, whatever you want to call it, as far as North Carolina. And the reason why I would get homesick is because 
man, I couldn't deal with the fast paced life. Yeah, I could deal with the culture, hip hop, et cetera, et cetera. But the fast paced life, meaning that it took two or three jobs in order to stay afloat in, 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 in New York. Whereas at one point in time in the nineties, um, I understand it is long gone, but you know, you, you could have a part-time, not a part-time, you could have a full-time temporary job and be able to, to, to live your life. Yeah. You might have, you might have had to have a roommate, but for the most part, you could afford, uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 somewhat of a, a, a new Dodge neon, you know what I'm saying? Um, your bills with a full-time job, a full-time temporary job. And the temp services, you know, you work there, you work a temporary job for three months, get laid off, they'll find you another job in, within the same week. And if you wanted to go out and, you know, go go to the club or buy clothes or anything like that, you know, the temp jobs at that time, you know, you could work a little overtime and you was good. That's not how it is in the South anymore. That's not how it is. Some, some people are living, working two jobs and still got to have a roommate in order to, to stay in a two bedroom apartment. So if you want to say that the that North Carolina is, is not the South, you would have to say the South ain't the South anymore. That's real talk. That's real shit. Other than that, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I just don't. I don't. I don't get it. People in North Carolina don't have northern, northern accents. People in North Carolina say, I'm finna go down near to the stove. They don't have, they don't, they don't carry on the, the, the northern traditions. I'm fixing to go. It's either I'm fixing to go or I'm finna go to the stove. I don't know what you're talking about. Let me tell you something. When my mother and I, no, my mother and my sister and I, when we moved, so let me give you a real, you know, real quick story of how I got here. You know, my grandfather died, you know what I'm saying? And I moved here when I was about 12 years old. You know what I'm saying? Um, and my grandmother had a house in, you know, a big house, a nice big house, you know what I'm saying? My grandmother, my grandfather, they were middle class. They stayed in the middle class neighborhood. So my grandmother was like, yo, y'all can move down here. We moved down here. And uh, my grandmother got remarried and uh, a year after we moved. And so we we stayed on the west side of, you know, um, at that time we was living in Durham, North Carolina. We stayed in the west side of Durham. And that shit was hectic. I didn't even know that Durham was so fucked up as it was. You know what I'm saying? But of course, you know, you go, you move from one side of town that's nice to another side of town and you don't even know, you ain't never been over that side, then, you know, you wouldn't know. So I went over there and, and I experienced a lot of shit. But after that, we moved to an area that was kind of neutral. It wasn't, it wasn't bad and it wasn't like extremely good or a nice neighborhood like where my grandmother lived at. And I'm here to tell you, like, it was like we stayed on a corner, right? And it was like an intersection. So going across from where I lived, like the street in front of us was paved. You know what I'm saying? But it was halfway paved. So if you go to you if you went a little further to the right of the street, it turned into a dirt road. And then the the the, the road that went alongside of my mom's house was a dirt road. They didn't pay that shit until I think 1999 or some shit. So every time you would get to my house, you would have to go to go on a dirt road. Like we we could never we never our cars were never clean because they used to it, they it just used to be gravel and every time a car would drive by it would get it would get the cars dirty. Like I'm just trying to I'm trying I'm trying to understand this. I'm trying to understand what you're talking about. Really. Really, what you talking about? When you say that North Carolina is not the South, what do you mean? When you make these statements, because I hear this all the time and I'm just trying to understand that. I really am. If what you see behind me is not the South or, the, or, or 
are the epitome of what the South, who and what the South is. Don't you see this, 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 this right here? Don't you see the next door neighbor? You see the grass? <laughs> I'm just trying to understand. It don't, listen, it don't get city in Charlotte until you go to Uptown. That's something different. Then you don't need a car. But here in Charlotte, in North Carolina, period, if you don't have a car, you're done. So how in the world are you saying that this this is not, this is the, the North Carolina is not the South where the number one form of transportation here is a car. You can't get a, around without it. Now, true indeed, I can make, you know, little errands where I live at. I could run little errands here and there. Because, excuse me, because they have like a strip mall right up the street, you know, grocery stores and all of that stuff right up the street. So it's minutes away. You know what I'm saying? But they just recently built all of that shit. The side of town that I'm on, which, you know what I'm saying, is really in South Carolina. They just recently built all of this stuff. But had you came here a couple years ago, I say at least about, what, about eight years ago? This shit was all rural. Straight up. Right up the street, it was a dude that 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 had chickens, goats, cows. This motherfucker's talking about some North Carolina, not the South. What is that? What is that? Please tell me. Explain to me what do you mean that North Carolina is not the South? Straight up. I remember like when, when New York was really like popping as far as music wise, you know what I'm saying? And then we were just, just transitioning into Southern music, you know what I'm saying? Where people were playing UGK, you know what I'm saying? Um, Outkast and, and eight, uh, M MG, what is it? MGJ or something in eight ball from Tennessee. You know what I'm saying? When they was playing all of the Southern music, people used to be like, man, I ain't listening to that up North shit. Turn that shit off. People didn't want to hear that up north shit. Motherfuckers got tired of people coming down here wearing Tim's, Tim's and shit. Nobody was with that northern culture. They they dealt with it until the South, just like how Andre 3000 said, that the Source Awards, the South has something to say. From that point on, <coughs> there was Southern pride. Not to say that it wasn't, but I'm saying Southern pride in hip hop and just the culture. Now, nowadays, people ain't, no people, man, the North ain't popping worth shit. No, nobody want to be from the North. The Northers don't even want to be from the North. Straight up. I'm just trying to understand. The South is where I used to, you know what I'm saying? This is the South. You know what I'm saying? You can still go to, I'm not saying I don't, I do, I don't do that anymore. But back in the days, you know what I'm saying? On a Sunday, you know what I'm saying? Or after the club or whatever. Or like if you ain't doing nothing on a Saturday afternoon, I always knew where a juke joint was at. Where I could go get a plate. And while getting a plate, I can get me something to drink. I can get me a couple shots of Hennessy or whatever the fuck. What you mean this ain't the South? I'm trying to understand it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking about cooking out right now. I got the grill right up there. What you mean? What you what you talking about? Even though I'm a vegetarian, I can still lay out some shit. I can lay out some veggie shit. And even though it's, it's, it's even though, every, man, it's became, it's become hectic everywhere. Even though it's kind of hard everywhere, every now and then you get to, you get to really embrace the Southern culture, like just the laid back to it. People always ask me, man, what you gonna do with your hair? And this and that and so forth and all these fucking videos. Let me tell you something about the South, man. And South, just as long as your bills are paid and you wash your ass, fuck you care about how the fuck you look if you at home. Real talk. You know what you know what I got tired about about New York, man? And this is real talk. When you go to the bodegas or the corner stores and shit, you gotta look like something. 
You mean to tell me? Now, nah, 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 listen, I, I'm all for you washing your ass when you walk out there, before you walk out that door. But you mean to tell me I got to goddamn get so-called glammed up. I don't want to use that because I know most women use that type of term or terminology. But just for the sake of the conversation, you got to get glammed up and shit. You got to put on nice clothes, you know what I'm saying, and all the rest of that shit. Make sure your head's pinned up. You got the edge up and all the rest of that shit just to go to the bodega. Nah, fuck that in the South. I'm going to put on some flip-flops, a T-shirt, some shorts. Or, you know, we'll put on some slips, you know what I'm saying? You know, most motherfuckers don't wear flip-flops. I wear them shits. But at the end of the day, you put on some sl some slips, you know, some Adidas slips or some fucking Nike slips and motherfuckers put on socks. And I don't understand how you wear fucking, but that, that, that's, that's, that's Southern culture, you know what I'm saying? You put on a tank top or, or some shorts and you motherfucking get in your car and you drive up to the store, you get what you get and you come home. Motherfuckers ain't got time to get glammed up and shit, edge ups and shit like that just to go to the fucking store. That's real talk. I'm just trying to understand because you all make me understand in the comment section. And please don't come up with no bullshit. Like, I'm talking about legitimate reasons why you think the South, that North Carolina is not the South. Please tell me. Straight up, because according to you all, you would think that if, if, if based on what you all say, it should be buildings behind me. Like, it shouldn't be none of this shit. It shouldn't be birds chirping and, and mosquitoes. Not mosquitoes. Yeah, there are mosquitoes out here and shit. Um, but I'm talking about um, fucking crickets chirping and all the rest of that shit. Birds chirping and, and just, just, this is the fucking South. What is you saying? I'm trying to understand. Make me understand. What you mean? What I'm just trying to understand. How is it that South Carolina... Georgia, Florida, and Texas. This is these are the places that you say is the real South. Alabama, Mississippi. What's the what is the the damaging difference between North Carolina and the states that I mentioned that you all say that that's the real South? Please let me know. And like I said, please don't pop that shit there. Well, the reason why North Carolina is not the South because it got North in North Carolina. That is the most stupidest shit that you can say. Straight up. And little do you know, for those that don't live in North Carolina and South Carolina, little do you know, North, North Carolina and South Carolina, they basically are the same. They are. Here in Charlotte, we share the football team called the Carolina Panthers. They're not called the Charlotte Panthers. See, we have a, a basketball team called the Charlotte Hornets. But here in the Carolinas, we have a football team that South Carolina and North Carolina share. If you don't believe me, do your research. They're called the Carolina Panthers. And it just so happened that the stadium is inside Charlotte city limits or in Uptown. But you'll see when you go to that stadium, the South Carolina and the North Carolina flag, because they're affiliated, the, the two states are affiliated with that team. Straight up. Like, to be real with you, where I'm at, I could I could walk several, I say a couple of miles away from here, or I could drive a couple of miles away here, minutes away from here and be in South Carolina that quick. Matter of fact, I get my gas in South Carolina because they got the cheapest gas, which is right up the street, a couple of minutes away from here. Living in South Carolina is not that much di difference than living in North Carolina. Matter of fact, South Carolinians actually work in in Charlotte or North Carolina, and then they leave and 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 um live in South Carolina because it's cheaper. They commute. Like, come on, y'all miss me with that shit, man. Real talk. I love what the South used to be. Now, I can't recognize it. No matter if I'm living in, I, I used to live in Atlanta. And I can tell you, it's no different. Matter of fact, Atlanta was far more city. If you were to say, what is, what city? If, if you were to say, if you were to say, which city inside, the difference between Charlotte and Atlanta, which is the biggest city far as like, you know, of course, landmass, Charlotte is big, but I'm talking about for a city like skyscrapers, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Buildings, et cetera, right? Um, 
it would be Atlanta. Atlanta's more city than Charlotte is. I used to live in Atlanta. But yeah, let me know. I really want to know. I'm 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 interested in knowing. Why do people think North Carolina is not the South? And if you have legitimate reasons, hey, hats off comes, you know, I, I tip my hat, my hat to you. Other than that, I just, I just think it's just bullshit. North Carolina is and will always be the South. The end.